Today we are going to be comparing the Carbonara to the Parisian and well I'm actually going to be focusing more on the Parisian in this video but today we have a lot to cover. I really like the Parisian and I also really like the Carbonara. So how do they differ? Well I've actually found a few different things that each vehicle is slightly better at. But moreover you might actually be surprised by some of my findings in this video because I actually didn't realize but the Parisian is actually way closer to the Carbonara than I thought at first. So I'm going to definitely be discussing this for all. But that being said, this is going to be the last video where I'm comparing the Carbonara to another Supercar Limited. The Parisian is really the last vehicle that I can consider being very close. The Javelin is sort of in its own league and it is actually better than the Parisian. So stay tuned for a video on the Javelin. And then the Bagna is in its own value category as well. So it's not going to be worth all comparing the Carbonara to the Bagna. But I do have videos on both of those supercars coming but going back to today the Parisian I remember this vehicle's release very clearly I think this was when my channel was at its peak and the Parisian for those that don't remember was actually released at the beginning of 2023 so it's pretty crazy to me that we are already in 2024 I hope you guys saw my happy new year's message in my discord and I also think I posted it in the community section of YouTube but that being said Parisian was actually 720,000 but it was available for about four-ish days so i can remember it was about february and checking on my website jailbreaktree.net it was actually from around february 17 to the 21st in the beginning of the year in 2023 so the 720,000 price tag i thought for this vehicle was very reasonable and one of the things i really liked about the parisian is that it had a very loud engine so this was when jailbreak was first kind of experimenting with the engine sounds and the only vehicle really before it that had the engine sound was the mcl 36 and I think the NASCAR so those were separate events the NASCAR event and the F1 car event and these were two separate events so the NASCAR event and F1 car event and then there was also the NASCAR number 75 event but it did not feature as many NASCARs as the first one so that being said the Parisian was kind of the next step going forward for jailbreak and introducing that engine sound now I've got to say I really like the engine sound on this vehicle even a year later I think the only closest vehicle that I can really compare it to is the Shogun I think the Shogun has an amazing engine sound as well and then kind of the other vehicles they are pretty all right but comparing it to the Carbonara considering it had the $800,000 price tag I would expect there to be an engine sound because that was kind of the standard that the Parisian set as well as what the Snake and kind of um aperture had they also had sort of unique engine sounds but that being said i thought that this vehicle was really cool in that regard just having the mirrors as well again this is stuff that you might think is pretty typical as of jailbreak right now a lot of the seasonal cars have had it but for as long as i can remember that was one of the standout features of the parisian and today we're actually going to be seeing what other factors kind of stand out about the parisian compared to the carbonara so obviously the start of the year was about season 14 and this was the for the champions event i remember covering the season kind of thoroughly but here's the thing this season was not too popular i don't think for the champions did too well in fact i actually made a lot of videos on each of these single items so there was a short for every single season pass item and well i found out pretty quickly that no one really cared about the entire season besides the proto 8 which was the season prize and actually that's one of the reasons that the proto 8 was rising in the first place the season 14 for the champions one was just not a great one and well, I think a lot of people didn't actually play that season and got the Proto 8 because it shortly started spiking up in value. So I remember when the Proto 8 was still like 2.5 million. I got at least three of them. And then take a look now. The Proto 8 is significantly harder to find simply because compared to the seasons that came before and after it, there was a lot less players that got the Proto 8. But going back to the Parisian, I feel it was the only lifesaver of season 14. And so this is what brought a lot of people back to jailbreak that season. And well, I am very impressed. It was 720,000. And that is some of the history of the Parisian. And what was a really big standout out of this vehicle was the high top speed. Now, I'm going to be honest. They did something a little bit different with the Parisian. Going forward with the new engine sound, the mirrors, they were trying to make the cars a little bit realistic. And the only downside that I can think of the Parisian that I can recall is in fact that it has had significantly worse braking. If you actually watch yesterday's comparison to the Power One, you're going to notice that the Power one instantly breaks from 200 miles per hour 
to zero in less than a second, whereas the Partisan, it takes maybe four to five seconds to basically deaccelerate from that 200 mile per hour speed in order to come to a full stop. So that is one of the things that I personally do not like about the Parzion. And yeah, the slow braking is kind of a bummer. If you're also going to be using this vehicle across heavy terrain, it's not even worthwhile because it's just going to be flipping over all of the time and then that braking is just going to be terrible for making turns. So the Parisian was by far not a perfect vehicle, but for 720,000 ladies and gentlemen, it had that top speed. Parisian has a top speed of 317 miles per hour. It was very fast for the time and the only thing that pretty much had a higher top speed was something like the Concept, the Bruley. And now even though the Eclair is included and it is actually slightly faster than the Parisian, it wasn't actually always that way. So as you guys know, the Eclair did receive a revamp recently, which I still have to discuss thoroughly what my thoughts are. I do have actually a few things to say because some of you have might not known there was actually three revisions of the Eclair now. And so it actually received two model changes in the past one, which is actually kind of interesting. A lot of drama with that. So I was kind of holding back on that video for a while, but I think I might make it. Anyways, the Parisian really like the nice top speed. And the reverse speed is actually not that bad either. So it has about 77 miles per hour reverse speed. And it is slightly slower than some vehicles. Like I'm used to the M12 as well. Kind of slower top speed. But now we compare it to the Carbonera. I feel I have talked a lot about the Carbonera recently. And so therefore this is kind of the last video where I'm going to be explicitly mentioning it in the video title. But yes, the Carbonera is just a slightly bit faster than the Parisian. It is actually literally a very similar top speed. So it's basically getting a little bit higher top speed maybe in those last few miles per hour and i was getting around 330 miles per hour for it now again that is not always going to be what you are realistically getting they are both very similar in the top speed department and if you use rocket boost which is what i'm using all the time then yes you're going to be noticing that the carbonera and parisian are very similar in top speed because both of these vehicles actually go for top speed but i also wanted to compare the reverse speed of these vehicles and would you look at that the carbonera is actually just a little bit faster so the carbonera has a 90 mile per hour reverse speed whereas the parisian is just slightly slower somewhere around 75 77 miles per hour not a big difference but definitely noticeable now the next thing i wanted to talk about is in fact the launch speed and so although i mentioned that the top speed of the carbonera and parisian were very similar the parisian does actually have the faster acceleration so while i noticed that they're very similar. I want to say that the Carbonara is just 50 miles per hour slower in that acceleration to its top speed. So that's actually why it's noticeable that the Parisian is just going across the map much faster. So for instance, if you're doing the power plant, you're going to be noticing that the Parisian, as long as you don't hit any bumps, is just going to be very smoothly accelerating up all the way to its top speed. Whereas the Carbonara will still do the same. It's not a bad vehicle by any means, but yes, it's going to just be slightly slower. But in the grand scheme of things, it's mostly only a second or two difference. Like unless I compare both vehicles side by side, they're very similar to each other. And that's honestly something that I wanted to kind of mention if you want the parisian i would honestly not really necessarily see the need to go for it if you just want the high top speed and if you want a great starter vehicle I would personally go for the Carbonera. It was very cheap, 800,000. You had a week to get it. I had a lot of VIP servers and you could always grind as a cop. But they're both very similar in a lot of ways. I felt the Carbonera is only going to increase in value, but the Parisian actually has a more established value by now. So here's the difference between the two. It really comes down to the price tag. Do you want to spend 3 million on the Parisian? That is actually its value on jailbreak tree on it. I've gotten anywhere from 2.5 million to 3 million for the Parisian. And even in some scenarios, I have had people offer me 3.5 million for the Parisian, but most usually it's about 3 million. And the Carbonera, on the other hand, basically was already 800,000 and doubled in value. And now it's going for about 2.5 million on average. So that's not yet completely set in stone. It might drop over the next month. It might increase over the next month, but that is basically the biggest difference between these vehicles. I'm going to be honest, although I really like the Parisian, I also don't find much of a need to necessarily go out there and trade for a Parisian because the Carbonera is so similar. If anything, I'm going to be honest, I just don't like the braking on both of these vehicles. So what I mentioned earlier in the video is that they were definitely going for a more realistic approach to these vehicles. So that includes the Parisian and Carbonera. And therefore, their braking is going to be more in line with what they're actually getting in real life. And I actually had someone point this out in my comments yesterday, and it's absolutely true. 
I did notice that the Partisan and Carbonara are just not going to be ideal in something like the city, where let's say you're trying to break around the Colonel base in the Rising City. Yeah, that's going to be really tough. Going across the tracks is going to be a little bit of a nuisance on both of these vehicles. They don't have the best ground clearance. But in a lot of ways, they are so similar to each other that if you really wanted the Persian, you don't necessarily need it because the Carbonara, it is better in some ways. It is slightly worse in some ways, but they are both incredibly fast. They're both incredibly good in acceleration. And I think the handling is on par. I've showed a lot of gameplay in the background. This is how I've always kind of been doing. So you can visualize kind of what my experience with these vehicles are. So I always record at least 30 minutes of footage with each vehicle to get a good idea of how they perform. And I've got to say, they're both very similar to each other. I can't really say much else, but if you want the slightly better braking, then yes, you can check out the Aperture and the Power One. Those are the vehicles I previously compared to the Carbonera in well, there isn't a whole lot of reason to really get the Parisian now as sad as it is to say. I think if you want the Carbonera, it is a very good practical vehicle. And although I do like the model on the Parisian, like I'm not going to lie, I really like the design on the Parisian. Carbonera is also very good as well. It has that open top design. If I were honest, I think the Carbonera should have just had maybe mirrors. I think that would have been cooler. And maybe, maybe if it had opening doors, I think that would have been just as cool as well. Something I haven't actually talked about is in fact the opening doors. I don't think that the Parisian had it either, but I think it was mostly to do with complications with its design. It is in fact the last vehicle that probably was entered into jailbreak creations before that 6,000 plus triangle limit. And well, therefore, if you really look up close, and this is mostly relating to when I was making the thumbnail for this video, when I was going up with the cinematic camera, I could definitely not count the polygons as compared to the Carbonera. But that being said, I think that the person has that really distinct look. I kind of like the colors for it. You don't really see green being used in a lot of vehicles right now. And yes, I really like the fact that the person kind of went out of its way to have a little bit more of a distinct look, even though some of it is fictional, some of it is based off real life. I like how the person turned out carbon air close second i think it's just that open top design that is a little bit interesting because i'm personally used to open top vehicles and jailbreak being like the posh or the boxer and the longhorn so every single open top vehicle has actually been fairly mediocre so far up until this point where we finally got the carbon air so it kind of depends on what your personal preference is. Do you want a more traditional race car or do you want kind of like a more open top race car? They're very similar, but that being said, let's get into the last kind of part of this video. I did briefly mention the values of these vehicles and while the Persian is going to be 3 million on jailbreak tree, not net, I don't think it should be anywhere surprising. That is kind of well established. And I believe I did make a trading video on the Parisian. So you can actually go ahead and see the offers that I am basing my explanations for this video from. But in a lot of ways, the Parisian, I really like the headlights on it as well. I think that the performance is very respectable. I think if you're a new player, you should definitely go out and get a Parisian if you can find it for a good price. But as soon as you kind of go above that 3 million mark, that's when I'm like, I don't think it's necessarily worth it because then I would actually prefer going over the aperture the aperture is a very good vehicle i discussed but i do prefer its acceleration compared to the parisian i think that it's not actually contest the parisian and carbonero even though they have good acceleration they're not going to compare to the aperture and well the aperture is going to be in the same range as these two vehicles and the power one is also another vehicle i discussed although it is actually twice as much as something like the parisian right now so that is mostly because it is trending right now you can definitely see my last video on that but that being said the carbonera very close to the Parisian, it's mostly rising right now so some people are going to want expectations but i think those that wanted the carbonera you are more than good enough with the carbonera i think it is a very respectable vehicle i feel you can get a lot of use out of it and if you're a new player then definitely get yourself a carbonera right now it's actually going probably for the lowest it is right now it's usually like this how trading works where when the vehicle first releases and people want the most overpays for it let's say some people got lazy grinding they didn't buy the carbonera usually they think when a limited first releases that's going to be when it's cheapest but it's actually not people want the most overpays for the limited at its start and then the hype kind of dies down which is where we're at right now with the carbonera the hype is kind of in the middle right now the value is sort of getting there to being set in stone but 
not quite, and it's in fact probably going to be the cheapest time right now, you can get yourself a Carbonera. And if you want the Parisian, you like the Parisian gameplay in the background of this video, you can definitely use the Carbonera with an add or two and get yourself a Parisian. So that being said, definitely make sure to check these values on Jailbreak Tree Nane if you're watching this video a month or two from now. I am sure that the Carbonera and the Parisian are going to be in a more interesting state, but quite simply, the Parisian has been in the game for longer, whereas the Carbonera is its closest competitor and it was added to the game last week. So I don't have much else to really say about these vehicles. They're both very respectable in their own ways and they both have served me well. So I did enjoy using these vehicles in the game and I think if you're still using these vehicles in Jailbreak and you just started the game, you are more than in a great spot. And I think if anything, you only lose that on that braking speed. So if you play as a cop off, then that's when I would notice the braking kind of being a penalty for both of these vehicles. The cop team kind of needs to do pit maneuvers a lot. And if you don't use pit maneuvers and these vehicles are completely fine that's just one of my gripes with these two vehicles that the aperture and power one because they don't have a realistic braking kind of thing going on then yes that's why the parisian and the carbonera seem out of place but that is all i had to say about these vehicles i really enjoyed them and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe and if you like the video make sure to like i really enjoy making these videos for you guys so be sure to bring the support and i'll keep making some more but that being said happy new year to you all and i'll keep you updated on on jailbreak training videos. Have a great day.